Stage 4 Sagan here. Today we're looking at the motorized armored tactical vehicle playset from Chatmay. I got this from my local Sam's Club. It's the only place I think they're really showing up yet. It comes with a plane that detaches from the armored personnel character tank thing. And two figures. It does come with a few weapon sprues we'll talk about in a minute. Okay, and of course, uh, it's all zip tied in place. There's some plastic bolts holding in the bottom. The two figures, um, the female figure is kind of not very seen very often. This is a repaint from a previous figure. Weapon sprues we've seen a hundred times. And then this weapon sprue is more rare and newer. Uh, so we're going to look at that out of the sprue here in a little bit. Be careful when taking this out of the package to not lose the stickers because the back side of the vehicle does not have any stickers already applied. I guess <laughs> they figured we'd be happy to do that for them. Um, as you can see here, you can see that the, all the stickers that would be on this side do go on the, are, are on the other side too. So we have stickers for both sides, which is cool. Some of these uh, discount vehicles don't have that. Uh, there's a few weapon sprues and some stuff that held it in place in the box we'll look at later. The plane's wings do open up. Uh, and once you click them in place, they stay open and you kind of have to force them closed to get them to close back down But it's interesting the way they have them geared together so that both wings go up and down at the same time no matter which one you close I just don't know about the longevity of that design and how long it'll hold up to like actual kids play and things of that nature Here the vehicle is with the uh, airplane on top And you can hear the guns here you know, they, like always, play a few different sounds. I thought it was interesting that the gun actually has this place where it kind of pivots forward even more. That does make it easier to get the plane out from the rest of the vehicle. I don't see any other benefit to that. Um, especially structurally, it seems like it might break over time because that's pretty thin rods of plastic. Uh, any hard play might destroy it. Looking in the cockpit, you can see where there's a hole where they probably would have put a um, flight stick if they weren't so cost conscious of a toy line. Here you can see it with the pilot in the cockpit. Okay, let's look at the rest of the APC here. Of course, you can put the gun right back to where it was so that you can open the front. And it opens forward. Pretty big figures, uh, four inch figures would fit in there pretty easily. The female figure fits, you know, kind of actually just fine. But you can tell it's designed even for four points of art or five points of articulation figures to fit in here, even though she has more points of articulation than that. The door does open, but it opens downward. Inside the vehicle, you can see there's some control panels and things of that nature. And let me turn on my lights so you can actually see. Um, and there's some space in there to put more figures and stuff. This gun does slide out far enough that a figure can be sitting and pointed a little to the left or a little to the right. But the gun only comes out this one side. The other side has grates and things like that in place. Uh, you know, from the back side, uh, you can see that it does open up. So you can put more figures or a vehicle like a motorcycle or something back here, which is pretty cool. And here's the other side without the stickers applied yet. And you can see it's very cool little design, um, though you can tell like with the stickers are needed to kind of flesh out certain things or hide gaps. Uh, you can tell mine has kind of a gap in the plastic there where the door is. So um, here it is all together and you can see uh, the figures and the plane in um, in position on the vehicle and if you want to know kind of like how that goes for scale here is a, one of the newer his tanks uh, so you can see the scale of this thing next to the his tank so uh, obviously it is a very large uh, motorized vehicle Here's that weapon sprue out of the sprue, and you can see how it has like a drone, a rocket launcher that has two different like um, things it can shoot. One's like a pointed missile, one's more of a canister, like almost like a grenade. And she does, it does come with like a remote control. The uh, 
found the place to put the rocket launcher here on the side. And here's where you stow the missiles, that because it comes with four missiles. There's places to click them in place right there. So altogether, this is a cool vehicle, and it does come with a little extra stuff for you uh, customizers to try to find a use for. Anyway, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and pour on the plastic.